So just how good is the locked on stabilization here in DaVinci Resolve? That's what we're going to find out today. We're going to approach this a little differently than probably most of the videos that you've watched. Here in our timeline, we have a 4K video clip of a woman running. I'm going to recommend that you use 4K or above because at some point you're going to have to put a transform on this to enlarge the clip to remedy empty space that you may have in the lockdown stabilization process. Now getting started, we're just going to take this clip into Fusion. So we're going to hit Shift and Spacebar. We're going to bring up a tracker node. Now do make sure that you're in the zero frame. And what that means is that you are at the very beginning of the clip. And once we place that tracker node up here in our media window, we will see this little green box appear. And the green box has a green box on the upper corner. Grab that. Let's bring it over. We're going to put this right here on our face. This is a very small space to track. We're going to see just how well DaVinci Resolve does it. Now, before we track this, we're going to go to adaptive mode and we are going to pick best match. And at this point, we'll click the track forward button and allow it to track forward. It shouldn't take very long. At this point, we'll go to operation. Here under operation, we're going to select match move. At this point, we'll bring in a text node into empty space. We'll connect that text node to the tracker. We'll go here to layout. We'll go back to text. We're going to change the color. We'll make it black. We're going to go back, play through it, see how well it tracks. I chose this clip for a very specific reason. Because the, the object that I'm tracking is so small, there's so much movement, I really wanted to make sure that I put DaVinci through as many paces as I could to determine just how good the lockdown stabilization is. At this point, it seems to be excellent. We're gonna get rid of that node. We're again going to select our tracker node. At this point, we're gonna go back to our tracker node, back to operation, here under merge, we're gonna do background only. And so that's obviously going to introduce a problem for us, but we're going to resolve that. We're going to go down here, make sure the tracker is highlighted. Shift spacebar on our keyboard. We're going to bring a transform node, making sure that that transform node is highlighted. We're going to go up here to transform. We're going to adjust the size, bring this over, playing back through the clip. You should have a result that looks very much like this. Overall, I think DaVinci Resolve did an excellent job. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for future DaVinci tutorials.